This video is going to follow a productive weekend day in my life and this first thing I'm doing is making some buttercream to prepare some cakes for a demonstration speech I have to give in drama later the week I film this. Sorry if the camera here is a little bit shaky. So after the butter is nice, soft, and beaten, you start adding powdered sugar. I added it very gradually, but there will still always be a few puffs once you pour it in. You can also slow the mixer speed, but I didn't want to take that much time because I was making a double batch. Next, I just filled a piping bag using a cup as support. I wanted to make my demo speech kind of like a cooking show, so I made sure to have every step completed and ready off to the side, so I started stacking cakes to various levels of completion. By doing this, the speech actually went over really well because I was able to focus on moving on rather than making each step perfect. In case you're wondering, the cakes are vanilla and the buttercream is unflavored. I would normally go for something more exciting, but as you can tell, I had to make so much and I didn't want to focus on flavor, just getting them all made. It is sweet though. Imagine frosting that just tasted like nothing. Ew! I love baking, so if you'd like to see me make more baking content, just leave a comment. Next, I cut some strawberries to look like roses. I was going to bring these to show how you could decorate a naked cake, but I forgot them, but they still tasted good. After all my drama work was done, I got started on my Latin translation. I use Explore the Story in my textbook because if I'm stuck on what a word means, it can help me out. I didn't show all the work I did with this, just some of it. I don't always film all of the work I do. Next I had lunch with plenty of hot sauce. After I'd finished eating, I checked my bullet journal. After that, I had a social studies assignment where we had to look at some articles and videos about John Brown and do some questions about him. I did that on my computer. Next, I did some math homework from the textbook. I usually use Kokuyo campus paper, but I don't use it for homework since I usually just trash the paper. And that kind of stuff is expensive, so I just use five star graph paper for this. And I'm not cheating, I'm in the second half of Algebra 1, so we're finally allowed to use calculators for everything like multiplication, even on tests, yay! When I don't have too much work, I do watch Netflix and YouTube, but it actually helps me. Also, just a note, this footage is from a few weeks ago. Next, I had to do some science. For some reason, science is the only class I have that uses Canvas, but I logged on there and we had to do a close read, which is basically just looking at an article, identifying terms you don't understand, asking some questions, and answering a few of them yourself. At the time that I filmed this, I was using friction highlighters as my go-to, but I already had mild liners and my friction started to run out, so I just replaced them all in my pencil case recently. I like both kinds equally. It is especially convenient, though, that you can erase the friction. I know some of these clips are out of order, but they're all from the same assignment. Next, I had to do some reading. I might post on my Instagram soon about how I annotate. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.